Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thanks so much for being with me today. Just want to give a big thank you to all my subscribers and supporters out there. It means the world to me. Thank you for the support, not only on the channel, but on my Instagram account, Dryer Days, and also in my Facebook group. I'll put links to all that good stuff down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let's get right to it. Well, we're doing a two for one today. I will be featuring two pieces that I did at the same time using Larez's epoxy pigment paste in angel white and using three different mica powders from artisan pigments i really loved how these all work together it created two really beautiful pieces here that i am very happy with and i hope you all enjoy this video My husband and I, primarily my husband, uh, we do cut these boards. I've had several people ask me where I get my boards and my shapes from. Uh, we predominantly make them. I just wanted to show how I tape my backs up so that I can pull that resin off and keep from getting any drips and any mess in the back. Um, I also just wanted to show here how I pick my colors. I have so many people ask me for the exact um, colors that I use, and this is just showing you I, I mix a lot of them together to get the hue that I want. It's not just one straight color out of the tube. I do a lot of mixing. These are a majority of the products and tools I'll be using in this video. You can see my painter's pyramids there that I love. All the stuff you can find in the video description, some of it with discount codes, so check that out. Those are the Artisan Mica Powders, and that is the Larez Angel White Pigment Paste that I'll be using. I did use all those mica powders with the exception of the Black Onyx, um, so just cups sticks and I am using stone coat countertop art resin which I already have mixed there and ready to go. Uh, the mica powders that I did use from Artisan Pigments are Ocean, Steel, and Titanium. You can see I already have my sides taped up there and I'm coming in with just that clear resin like I do in every video and I just drizzle it over any stones or glitter that might still be loose on this piece. I talk about it in every video so I won't go on about it here. What I really like about all these products is a little goes a long way. The little res as well as the Artisan pigments. Uh, you just need a tiny little bit. Um, the Artisan pigments do come in a wide array of colors and they came in a nice little box, very neat and tidy. And uh, yeah, I just, I really liked how they all interacted together in this piece, um, that little res pigment paste. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It does some beautiful lacing and uh, making of cells. Uh, as you will see if you didn't notice uh, earlier in the intro with the finished piece, I will show it again at the end and it's just lovely. Coming in with just my clear stone coat art resin now, I really like the background colors I had in both of these pieces and I knew that the tinted resin was almost going to act like an accent. So what I wanted to do was lay the clear down first and then sort of ribbon in those other colors. Uh, I love stone coat resin. I swear by it. It's just, it has a long workability time. It is the best UV resistant resin that I have found. And if you guys want a $10 off coupon of your $95 purchase, check out the video description. For
And here is the 12 by 12 inch all finished. I think it's just beautiful. I love how that Lorez white just laced. It looks so dreamy and just kind of milky in there. It's just beautiful. And that ocean from Artisan Pigments is just gorgeous in there. wonderful products you know that's what makes this easy is using good quality resin from stone coat and using awesome products from companies like Lorez and artisan pigments so i hope you guys can check out the description for all those products and find stuff that you need i have an amazon storefront too that you can check out with links to all the stuff i love to use please come on over to my Instagram at Dryer Days. Check that out. And if you're an artist and you want to share your work or ask questions and find out more information, come check out my Facebook group, Dryer Days Art Studio Resin and Fluid Painting Group. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again for all the subscriptions and the support and the love. I really can't express how much it means to me. So thank you so much. And until next time, everybody, keep on pouring. <laughs>